everyone, it's Irene, and I'm here to share another project with you. Um, but before I start, I want to show you some of my discoveries regarding this particular group. It's the Junk Journal Junkies. There's a Facebook group, and it's being run by Yvonne White. She's also on YouTube, in case you don't know who she is. And that's how she goes by her YouTube channel, is Yvonne White. She's a wonderful artist. Her journals are amazing. And uh, she's running this beautiful group of people who are... Oh my gosh, the so many fun swaps happening right now here. So if you're into junk journaling or starting out and you want to get really deep into it, this is the place to be. Um, a lot of my inspirations come from uh, Lori, just a girl from the Bay, Rachel, Jay-Z Creation, wonderful person, Patty at New Lady, 1949, uh, Christy at Twins For Me Too, oh my gosh, I mean all these guys are just amazing, Jamie Lola at Poet Spice, she is so much fun to watch and I learned so much from all these lovely ladies and then we have a young man a young uh, young man here who is scrappy happy he is just starting out his name is Dwayne D-U-A-N-E please hop on over to his channel I'd really like to support um, the young group in uh, scrapping and uh, crafting of any kind he actually also sews his junk journals so if you guys are interested in seeing that um, his journals are also very amazing, and I know he would love to get some YouTube love and support, so head on over to Dwayne's channel, which is Scrappy Happy, and I know you guys will enjoy his channel. And also, you know, also, if you guys haven't heard from me before, but I have this list right here too, Yoli Bean and Thrifty Lou, and of course, Lori, as I mentioned before, Melanie Barnes and Ruth Burr. So these are the people that are getting into junk journaling. They're making some amazing projects. I know if you type in to the information bar on YouTube and you put in junk journals, a lot of things come up. But these are just the ones that I've been following. And my list is growing and growing. I just amazing people. So much to learn from. And uh, anyway, just hop on over to the channels. I know you'll be happy as much as I do. I mean, I'm just so energized by the whole junk journal theme genre I wanted to show you what I've gotten into yeah this is just a plain composition college rule book I have so many of these I can't even tell you at one time people thought I was a hoarder of these books and you know what okay I was I'm out of the closet now I was a hoarder of these books I have boxes and boxes of them so I've decided to start altering them. Yep, the cover hasn't been put on here yet and I haven't finished the inside covers, but I have stained the pages and I have glued on an old, old book, pages on, the th on each page here. And what I did was I just took a handful of pages that I did that to and I chose this book because it smells. It smells like it's been around forever. And it's actually a 1979 print book. And I was looking for something that looked old, felt old, tore in a nice way. And that's what drew me to that. But after I made this particular composition book, I noticed that the smell of these pages, and it just lent itself to the authenticity of what I'm going to be doing with this book. But I just wanted to show you the beginning stages of what this is going to look like. And here are just stained pages with the book pages glued on. And then I have some that are just plain. And I will be doing different things to this section here. But uh, it just goes on and on like that. And I crumpled up the pages and stained them. And this is all, you know what kind of stain this is, don't you? Yep, it's shoe polish. It goes on really well. It doesn't smell. doesn't stain your hands or anything. And it dries quite quickly and it's cheap so I've been using that and I think it looks pretty good yes I do coffee dye I do tea dyeing but for this project where I was doing it and when I was doing it that's all I could do at the time and so that's what I that's what I do for this book so here's a section again and then on and on it goes throughout this book and like I said I haven't finished it yet I'll be covering this and I'll be covering the back but for now this is what it looks like. It's super, it was super thick. And what I did was I put some weight on it overnight and I let it sit for a while and I was able to squish it down like this. 
it feels really great. It smells really bad, like an old book, which I wanted. And so this is just going to be a fun project. So I just wanted to show the beginnings of this one and uh, also share my discoveries of my channels that are showing off their wonderful, wonderful um, junk journals. Some of these I've known for a while and some of them I've discovered uh, through other people. But uh, head on over to these channels and absolutely give them some support by subbing to them and watching their uh, projects and their channels. I know you'll learn a lot from them. I sure did. So thanks everyone for watching. Hoping everybody's having a great Friday. Take good care. Bye-bye.